Extreme compression on drums is a sound we're all familiar with. The ambient qualities of a room can sound like they're pumping and beat with the song, which makes us imagine a room that is saturated with excitement and energy. But in reality, the extremes of limiting or compression can also degrade the impact of the drums. By retaining the original track with little or no processing, and simultaneously sending it to a parallel bus where it's heavily affected, you get the best of both worlds. Here's how we go about setting up a parallel bus for compression on the drums. To demonstrate this process, we're using tracks from the song Sister Cities by the Philadelphia band Hopalong which was recorded as part of our documentary series, Shaking Through. If you're a member of Weathervane Music, you can download and use these tracks for this exercise. You can support Weathervane and learn how we mix songs for Shaking Through by purchasing the Mix Roadmap. It's a companion piece for this video series that will help you improve your skills and better understand how we record music. Before we get started, we're using a special I.O. custom designed for these lessons that Weathervane members can download directly from our site. Start with a simple mix of your drum tracks. Now we want to create an aux track called DRPLL. Set the input to the parallel drum bus. Set the output to the same place as the rest of the drums. We'll start with this fader turned all the way down. Now we want to insert a simple compressor on the parallel drum aux. We're going to insert bus sends on the tracks that we want to send to the parallel aux. To start, let's do the kick and the snare. We're going to set the send to pre-fader. Set the output to 0 dB. Now I'm going to copy that to the snare drum. So now we're going to activate the compressor by hitting play. To illustrate the extreme possibilities of this process, we're going to set the attack and release controls both to their fastest settings. Pull down the threshold so we really get it cooking. Now slowly turn up the parallel drum aux fader to blend the signal with the rest of the drums. Check it out, let's, let's A, B it with and without. This is with, without, with, Without. Now we're going to add the room mics to the parallel bus. Notice how the room qualities of the recording are hyper accelerated like they're ready to take off. You listen to just the parallel bus. It's really flying. Now let's see what it sounds like if we take away the room and add the overheads. Now it's the cymbals that are pumping to extremes. And just for fun, watch what happens when we add a reverb to the parallel bus. Let's hear it soloed. It's similar to the room, but different for sure. So that's it. Now you have a basic sense of how a parallel drum bus can work. Again, we usually push it for noticeable effect when we're mixing, but you don't have to. You can explore a wide range between subtlety and extremes on the drums or any instrument in the mix when experimenting with parallel compression. Thanks for watching. If you have thoughts or questions, please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or become a member of Weathervane Music where you will learn a lot about the processes we use when we record in the studio. Weathervane Music is a nonprofit organization whose mission is to advance independent music and the community that surrounds it. Your support creates great new music and learning opportunities for people all around the world. 
Whether you make or record music, our programs help you to nurture and develop your craft. Explore what else we have to offer. 